Did you know? Westerners have long believed that we lack top talent in the field of chips, relying on them for expertise. This extraordinary woman, who won an international chip award before the age of 30, has garnered admiration from foreigners. She is none other than Huang Qianchan, a brilliant talent from Peking University, PKU. In 2006, at the age of 17, she demonstrated exceptional intelligence, rising to the peak by gaining admission to Peking University from Shangrao No. 1 High School. In this gathering place of the nation's most outstanding talents, Huang Qianchan stood out. During her academic life at PKU, she worked even harder to study various subjects and enrich her cultural knowledge. After graduating from PKU, she did not choose to go abroad like her peers, but continued to stay at PKU for further studies and scientific research. In 2012, various awards and honors poured in one after another. During her further studies, she became the winner of the Academic New Talent Award for doctoral students, and a participant in the academic season of the School of Science and Technology. All these accolades surrounded her. Since entering PKU, Huang Qianchan's efforts have been observed by everyone, and these honors are well deserved. In the years that followed, more honors awaited her. She became the most dazzling star in the scientific research department at PKU. However, there was not a trace of pride or complacency in her. She remained calm and focused on her scientific research career. In 2017, Huang Qianchan officially joined the ranks of China's future female scientists, making her the only female scholar in our country. From an ordinary girl from an ordinary family, she stepped into the spotlight becoming an object of envy for others. However, without diligent sowing, where would come the fruitful harvest? Huang Qianchan has never studied abroad, she is a homegrown scientist rooted in her homeland. Nevertheless, she is in no way inferior to anyone. In the past decade, she has published more than 10 papers, some of which were published in internationally renowned journals. In the embrace of PKU, Huang Qianchan has gradually achieved her own success. At the age of 28, Huang Qianchan became a talented doctoral supervisor. Defeating the stage of the IE Youth Achievement Award ceremony, she was one of only three winners globally that year. She single handedly received this recognition in the entire Asia region, making the world take a fresh look at China. She devoted her youth to contributing to China's microtechnology development, tirelessly working day and night. Her relentless efforts were aimed at creating something useful, leaving no detail unexamined and fearlessly attempting countless experiments. Ultimately, she successfully developed a new texture ultra-low power device, unprecedented internationally. In various high-tech development fields. Chips are the lifeblood of modern technology and have been a weak point for China. Huang Qianchan created a miracle for Chinese chips, excelling in the technical core of the semiconductor field. Many Chinese students, once competent, go abroad for development. However, Huang Qianchan firmly declined invitations from abroad, stating, I am Chinese and will not work for foreigners. Ren Jingfei, the CEO of Huawei, affectionately said, without Huang Qianchan, there would be no Huawei today indeed. When the United States began trade attacks against our country, the main target was the price of exported chips. At that time, our country was entirely dependent on the United States in the field of chips. Ren Jingfei deeply felt the impact and said that Huang Qianchan is a genius. The so-called genius is the endless result of hard work and struggle. From Huang Qianchan, we not only need to learn her spirit of hard work but also her patriotic feelings. Especially for those overseas Chinese talents, if everyone has the dedication to the country like Huang Qianchan, China will be difficult to contend with. The battle of technology is essentially a competition for talents. Although China started its technological development late, its rapid pace has allowed it to surpass others in many fields. However, there is one area that is still a bottleneck, 
and that is chip manufacturing. In the past, we believed in buying is better than making, missing the opportunity to develop chip manufacturing. Now we realize the importance of chips and aspire to create our own Chinese chips. To achieve this, talents are indispensable. How did the chip genius Huang Qianqian grow up? Next, let me tell you her story. Huang Qianqian was born in an ordinary rural family, but she was exceptionally intelligent from a young age. At the age of 17, she became the top student in the science department in Jiangxi's Shangrao, earning admission to Peking University, PKU, with a major related to chips. After graduating with a bachelor's degree, she chose to continue her education, becoming a PhD candidate at PKU at the age of 27. At 28, she became a member of the Chinese Female Scientist Program and a PhD supervisor at PKU. At the age of 30, she received the Youth Achievement Award from the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE, being one of only three awardees globally, the sole Asian, and making Forbes China's elite list of individuals under 30. From her resume, it is evident that Huang Qianqian is a young scientist in the field of microelectronics who was born and raised in China. At 30, she won a World Research Award, focusing on the basic research and industrial transformation of ultra low power micro nano electronic devices. She made significant contributions to the innovation and breakthroughs in China's chip technology. Born in an ordinary family in Shangrao, Jiangxi, Huang Qianqian has been diligent and studious since childhood, achieving outstanding results. She skipped two grades and entered the computer science department at Peking University at the age of 17. During her university years, she joined the Micro Nano Electronics Research Department led by academician Huang Ayu, where she began studying ultra low power micro nano electronic devices beyond the Mo era. This was a forward-looking and challenging research direction, related to China's independent innovation and international competitiveness in the field of integrated circuits. After graduating, Huang Qianquan chose to stay at the university for further studies, rejecting invitations from prestigious foreign schools and insisting on engaging in basic scientific research and continuous innovation in China. She led a team to achieve a series of internationally influential results in the innovative principles and technological research of new devices such as silicon-based tunneling field effect transistors and complementary tunneling field effect transistors. She also collaborated with leading domestic integrated circuit manufacturing companies to successfully develop the world's first complementary tunneling device integration technology based on a 12-inch CMOS production line. Huang Qianqian's scientific research achievements have been highly recognized and praised by peers at home and abroad. She has received multiple significant awards and honors, including the China Young Female Scientist Award, Science Exploration Award, IEEE Electron Devices Society Youth Achievement Award, and more. She also serves as a committee member or editorial board member for several international conferences and journals. As a party member, Huang Qianqian always remembers historical missions and the responsibilities of the times, contributing to China's critical core technology breakthroughs and high-level technological self-reliance. Huang Qianqian's main research areas are ultra-low-power micro-nano-electronic devices in the post more era and their applications in fields such as logic circuits and neuromorphic computing. I in the field of microelectronic devices. She has achieved a series of internationally influential academic results, and these achievements have been cited by the International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors, ITRS, and the International Roadmap for Devices and Systems, HiRDS. Additionally, she collaborated with leading domestic integrated circuit manufacturing companies, successfully developing the world's first complementary tunneling device integration technology based on the current standard. CMOS process platform Huang Qianqian's research focuses on two main directions, ultra-steep swing devices and neuromorphic devices. 
Ultra-steep swing devices refer to new principal devices that can break through the physical limits of traditional transistor subthreshold swings, 60 MV a decade. These devices have high switch ratios and low static power consumption at very low operating voltages, making them suitable for applications in the Internet of Things, IoT, wearable devices, and other fields. Huang Qianqian proposed two new mechanisms for ultra-steep swing devices, one based on quantum tunneling conduction and the other on negative capacitance transistors, using ferroelectric material polarization transitions. She has achieved world-leading results in silicon-based tunneling transistors, breaking the subthreshold swing record of similar devices internationally. She collaborated with SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, to develop the world's first complementary tunneling device integration technology based on the current standard CMOS process platform. Neuromorphic devices refer to new principal devices that can simulate the functions of human neurons and synapses. These devices enable large-scale parallel computing at very low power consumption, making them suitable for applications in artificial intelligence and deep learning. Huang Qianqian proposed a neuromorphic device based on tunneling effects, capable of achieving long-term and short-term memory similar to biological synapses and non-volatile storage functions, with high integration and reliability. Some of her academic achievements include 1. Novel Scottky Tunnel Hybrid Control Field Effect Transistor this device combines the traditional Schottky injection mechanism with the quantum band-to-band -band tunneling mechanism, breaking the subthreshold swing limit of traditional MOSFETs and achieving a balance between ultra-low power consumption and high performance. Huang Qianqian successfully developed this new type of device during her doctoral studies, breaking the subthreshold swing record of silicon-based tunneling devices internationally and achieving a globally leading comprehensive performance level point two. Complementary tunneling device integration technology. This is a technology that simultaneously achieves excellent performance complementary tunneling devices and standard CMOS devices on the same silicon wafer. It is compatible with existing standard CMOS process platforms, providing the possibility for ultra-low power integrated circuits. Huang Qianqian collaborated with Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, one of the largest and most advanced integrated circuit manufacturing companies in China, to successfully develop the world's first complementary tunneling device integration technology based on a 12-inch CMOS production line. Chip prodigy Huang Qianqian is a scientist who has made outstanding achievements in the field of ultra-low power micro-nanoelectronic devices, contributing significantly to the innovation and breakthroughs in China's chip technology. Her story has a positive impact on society, with many aspects worth learning from. Firstly, she chose to stay in China for research, rejecting invitations from prestigious foreign schools and continued her in-depth study of ultra-low-power micro-nano-electronic devices in the post-more era at Peking University. She proved that China's higher education is not inferior to the West, and the motherland is entirely capable of cultivating top international scientists. She also demonstrated a patriotic spirit and confidence, contributing to the country's technological development and security. Secondly, she is a diligent and hard-working scientist, continuously exploring and innovating in the laboratory, overcoming many worldwide research challenges. She has published more than 60 high-level papers in international top conferences and journals, receiving multiple significant awards and honors. She collaborated with leading domestic integrated circuit manufacturing companies, successfully developing the world's first complementary tunneling device integration technology based on a 12-inch CMOS production line, she demonstrates a spirit and ability to pursue excellence and create value. Lastly, she is a scientist with a sense of social responsibility, not only focusing on her research results but also their impact on society and humanity. Through her work, she hopes to drive the development of China's semiconductor industry and provide powerful core support for the era of interconnected intelligence. 
she actively participates in science popularization activities, educating the public about microelectronics, inspiring more young people to engage in technological innovation. She embodies an ideal and passion for serving society and humanity with such outstanding talent. She naturally attracted attention from the United States. Many major U.S. companies wanted to hire her with high salaries, but Huang Qianchan declined without hesitation. She stated that, as a Chinese, she wanted to stay in her home country and would not contribute to the United States. I in the past decade, Huang Qianchan has not only completed over 60 papers but also led her team to obtain more than 70 patented technologies. When Huawei faced sanctions, Huang Qianchan and her team joined Huawei, helping the Chinese technology company overcome challenges. Moreover, she conquered a crucial component in the chip field, making outstanding contributions to the development of China's chips. Huang Qianchan is a representative among countless chip talents in China. With the joint efforts of so many chip talents, we are confident that we will break foreign monopolies and achieve the rise of Chinese chips. Chips. Chips.